What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible. And um, today I just want to do a topic. I want to talk about some things uh, because I was, uh, my necklace is kind of crazy today. I was talking to a friend and I realized there's a lot of people um, who don't understand uh, some different paranormal or spiritual things. And I and I kind of assume everybody's on the same page, but uh, my spiritual journey and your spiritual journey are two different things. So let's make it easy for everybody. Um, tonight's topic is going to be the multiverse. Um, and not to be confused with the metaverse, which is VR and virtual reality. Um, I, I truly believe that the internet, everything that we see physically is just a representation of the spiritual world, and we can call them multiverses, the spiritual world. But I want to break this down as simple as possible of what the multiverse is and just kind of what I believe it to be. Because, I mean, it hasn't been quite proven yet, even though there's a lot of um, scientists who are trying to research it, and string theory, and all types of things <laughs> about how reality works. Um, so I think when you understand the multiverse and the uh, possibilities and the potential of reality, things like the Mandela effect kind of make sense. And for those who are aware of the Mandela effect, you know, where some people think they will call it like mis or <laughs> misremembering or something like that or mistaken memories, um, I see it more so as uh, having a memory of an alternate reality in, in which you shift it either probably too hard or too fast and the changes were pretty apparent. Um, with the multiverse, we have, and this is just my belief, this is my opinion. So, um, and plus there are some other things that I've done some meditations on and I was asking questions to uh, the universe uh, and I was getting some answers. Um, so I wanted to share it with you, document it, <laughs> because it's not just for me, right? Okay, so, um, but this is what I received, so if you don't resonate with it, then it's fine. Uh, the multiverse and parallel realities. Um, there are many versions of you and these uh, multiverses. Um, but you don't inhabit all of those realities. So physically, you have a physical avatar that is acting out and doing different scenarios in those different realities. So, but your soul only inhabits one at a time. So you can jump from reality to, to reality. And this is what I did a video about soulless beings. And then I said, this is where you get the soulless beings from because everybody is not in the same reality at the same time people are living out their lives uh in different realities um and and we can go back to my video and watch about solo speakings i will talk about that later again uh because we're talking about the multiverse but with the multiverse you have different versions of yourself playing out different possible scenarios of your many choices in other words, you've made out, you've made all the choices that you're ever going to make. Uh, all possibilities have already been lived out. There, there is a reality where you're a plumber, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> There's a reality where you're a stripper. There's a reality where you're super rich. There's a reality where you're super poor. There's a reality where you're a murderer. Uh, there's a reality where you didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> so, so on and so forth. Any possible reality that can be has already played itself out. Okay, so as a soul, when you're bloop, dropped into the ocean of reality, um, let's not say ocean, when you're dropped into the river of reality, life is but a dream, uh, row, row, row your boat, um, at different cross points, you have to make a decision. It's like choose your own adventure. Or uh, when you're watching Netflix, is asking you those little interactive Netflix shows where it asks you to make a choice. 
you can't make the choice unless the choices have already been made. Kind of like Matrix, it's it's not the choice that you need to make. I think the Oracle told Nia that you've already made the choice. You're just trying to figure out why. Okay, so this is what reality is. It's basically all these multiverses connected to each other. And at certain points, there's branch off points. Um, and the parallel realities, the ones that are closest to each other are the ones that are most similar. So they have very small variants about them. Okay, very. Um, so there'll be a one slight difference. And if it is a major difference, it's something so unrelated to you, you probably wouldn't see it anyways. Uh, <laughs> but every now and then, we have a reality shift or a reality jump. Um, and this is either because there's mass destruction or a glitch in the matrix or someone's playing with time. Uh, and when that happens, um, the timeline has to uh, correct itself and get all the living souls back to their proper position because free will is a thing and if something goes wrong with the timeline uh that's not your free will so um this is i think this is probably why we have the mandela effect is because there was some kind of glitch whether some people say it's cern um or whether people think that there was some mass destruction that happened like a war that killed everybody and so the timeline had to be reset and all the souls had to be dropped into a parallel reality that was closest to it um and people start noticing major changes and there may have been more than one cataclysm there may have been one major life-changing shift because we are we're always seeing these changes um i've found that most of the mandela effect changes have been very intelligent uh whereas they're trying to make us see um certain differences through codes. I made a video about that too. And if that's the case, then there's actually an intelligent force uh, trying to let us know that we're being shifted around. So these multiverses, like I said, all are similar to each other. Okay. And um, this is how we make choices. When it comes to NPCs, non-playable non -playable characters, there's a lot of them. Or what I like to call the soulless ones, the soulless beings. But you don't need to judge those people. They're either a part of the game. Uh, if you've seen Free Guy or whatever, there's just a bunch of NPCs and stuff. They're either a part of the game, like the Matrix, they're agents or whatever like that. Or they're avatars for people in other realities. And so when you're not encompassing your particular avatar, this body, let's say there's a Montre out there who's just thug, you know, a gangster. Um, that avatar, because I haven't made those decisions, it, that avatar is just going through the motions. So I said that my video about the soulless beings is that when you have a soulless being, they just go through the motions, they do the same thing, they have a routine, um, and they really don't break that routine, they don't do anything creative. They don't add to society. They go work, they eat, they shit, they go back to sleep, you know, and they typically wear the same thing <laughs> a lot. And these people are unnoticeable. They're um, background actors, per se. And you typically don't notice them. Um, and it's getting, it's getting easier to not notice people. Um, people are always on their phone or whatever. So uh, you have a lot of them. And then there's people who are actually inhabiting a soul or <laughs> not inhabiting a soul. There's avatars, there's bodies that actually have souls. So a lot of people are like, oh, I don't agree. Everybody has a soul. Everything that you see that is human in this reality is not human. There are people who are empty and they're just going through the motions. There are people who are demonic. They actually, they, their bodies were created to inhabit uh, 
malevolent spirits to give malevolent spirits an actual physical body. That's another story for another time. <laughs> uh, and this is not even possession. Possession is different. Possession is when a person gives somebody, uh, not somebody, gives a, a spirit permission to inhabit their body and use that body for whatever purpose in exchange for uh, gifts or whatever. Um, there, are, there are people that are born, or not people, there are bodies that are <laughs> created, cloned. And if you don't think there are actual clones out there, uh, there are. They've already cloned sheep, and you know they're cloning people. And no, we can't prove it, but you know, if they got the technology, they're using it. So cloned people, and they uh, basically get spirits to inhabit those bodies. They need avatars, so they get spirits to do it because it's an empty, it's an empty shell. Why not? A spirit can possess a person. They can possess a uh, a clone. It's kind of like the old stories of golems. Uh, it's a Jewish story about golems being created to inhabit spirits. Golems are made out of mud. Um, same concept with clones. You just and if and I'm sure uh, the occultic brotherhood that is up high. When I say high, I mean like uh, in higher places in science and doctors and um, doing experiments on animals, <laughs> creating diseases and whatnot um, to only benefit later with the cure. I'm sure they're creating people. They're creating clones of people so that they can experiment on bodies. But because they're an occultic brotherhood, they probably know a lot of rituals to, to bring in spirits and give them bodies as well. And those bodies, those <laughs> um, zombies, as we could say, we're already in the zombie apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> these zombies, these people without souls, with spirits, they're just walking around willy nilly, doing what they, whatever they do. They're just filling up, filling up space. Their programs, just like on Matrix, uh, their um, programs. Mm hmm. So I went on a tangent on that one. Uh, <laughs> the multiverse is, uh, that's the topic, is full of people, some real, some not. And that's not your focus. Your focus is to spread your light and your energy to realize that your choices do matter and that there's always a choice even when some of the powers of be try to make you think that there isn't a choice. There's always a choice because there's a multiverse and there's a reality where you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Um, but like I said, that's what I'm always telling you. Like, don't make choices out of fear because they're trying to guide you down a particular path. And many of those spirits know those. Many of those malevolent spirits know um they're aware of the multiverse they're they're aware of the different paths that can be taken um and they want to scare you down the wrong road so i just want to put that little bug in your ear um give you some little information leave me a comment below uh maybe your epiphanies or your beliefs about the multiverse. Do you believe in it? Do you not believe in it? I love to get this conversation started. I'm sorry I didn't do a live. I just wanted to make sure I get my thoughts out because, yeah, I have a lot of deep thoughts. And it's now the time that I'm going to start spreading those thoughts. I'm still going to be doing the tarot readings. Um, so if you need a, a personal reading, you can do that. I'm going to do the weeklies. There's just going to be weeklies. And the monthlies are all going to be one video. So also be sure to follow me on my social medias at bemyfan.com slash Montre. No, that's not porn. That's for another time. Anyways, <laughs> make your reality happen because if you don't do it, then who will? I talk to you guys later. Peace out.